Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop. The exact model for this one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 dash 15 ADA05. The model name is an 81W1. That information can be found inside the BIOS or on the bottom on the sticker of the laptop. In this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove add the RAM on your laptop. If you want to know your maximum RAM capacity based on your CPU and your model number exactly, check the link on the video description. It's a short 30 second video where I show you guys how you can find out exactly how much RAM you can put on your laptop or your PC. Check that link in the video description. In this video, we're just going to cover it up, how you can open it up, how you can add or remove the RAM. We have added an additional 8 gig on these models before and because it comes with a 4 gig unsoldered on the board and they give you additional RAM them to upgrade and you can put an up to 8 gig beside there. If yours can handle more, 20 gig, probably you can put a 16 gig plus 4 gig, then you can have an, a 20 gig. All right, so first thing first, remember by upgrading the RAM, you're not going to change anything in the system. It is going to be the same way that you left. So power it off. Flip it upside down, grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. And you're gonna be using a Phillips number one. Also, if you get a uh, pro set, they'll give you an opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. There's two types of screws down here. Long screws is from the mid towards the back row. And the short ones are right in the front of the laptop. So keep them in a two separate piles so you don't miss much. You don't want to put a long screw where the short screw goes. Otherwise, you get a tiny nipple uh, plastic on the other side. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that li like and support. Like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. I appreciate that. Right, now that we removed all the screws, the short and the long screws, you're gonna grab the opening tool and you're gonna start from the front corner of the laptop. You wanna stick the opening tool right in there and you just wanna twist it and you wanna work yourself all around in the front end, work in the corner. I'm sticking about two or three millimeters, you don't need to stick the whole guitar pick in there. You just wanna stick it in there, wiggle it around, go to the back corner. In here, same thing in here, tiny bit. Doing the back corners, lift it up, wiggle it around, and it will get loose. This one, the base on the plastic is kind of broken because it really was dried up because of the I never did a servicing, and the plastic got broken in there, like this one in here. You can see this side doesn't have it, so the screw just goes to the hinge. It doesn't hold the plastic, which is fine. There's no problem with that. All right. Down here, we can see the soldered on the board RAM chips and the extra RAM that is already installed in here. To remove the RAM, you do not need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary to disconnect the battery. But for those paranoid people that are like, okay, you should disconnect the battery. These cables are really tough. In order to disconnect it, you have to remove three screws, one screw on this side and two screws on the left side of the battery. You want to disconnect these three screws. And then you want to lift up the battery a little bit and then you want to pull it slide it towards the front and the jack will get disconnected you want to slide it don't lift it up and to put it back in because these cables are really tough you want to slide it right inside the connector and you want to push it right in there and make sure the screw holes are matching but again this is for those people that are really paranoid and they do want to Disconnected, this is the way you disconnect it. But if you think you're clumsy, you're gonna drop a screwdriver or the motherboard or something, make sure, go ahead and disconnect it. But I'll leave it connected for now. All right, to remove the RAM, what you wanna do, you wanna put your fingers on these triggers right at the tip here, and you wanna pull them away from each other, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And then what you want to do, you want to grab it in 45 degree angle, you want to slide it backward in 45 degree angle. You do not want to yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise it's not going to come out and it's going to break the RAM or the dead. 
right? These are a DDR4 RAM, you can 3200 um, maybe hertz, 3200 hertz. It is a four gig, a four gig, you have in total eight gigs. So if yours, you can definitely put an eight gig plus four gig, it will add up and it will work fine. We have upgraded. Or if yours goes up to 20 gig, you can go ahead and put a 16 gig DDR4 in here and it will add up with a 4 gig, which will get you 20. We have put it at a 16 gig. I just confirmed it with a colleague of mine. We have put a 16 gig in here and it did add up with a 4 gig and it worked just fine. Let's say you got the new RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM right in here matches the notch right on the DIMM. So if you try to put a dot away round, doesn't matter the orientation of the chips on the RAM, as long as the notch matches. So if I try to put it like this, it's not gonna go through because the RAMs are not, the notches right there, the cut and the notch is not matching. So I'm gonna flip it, bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, and then simply I'm gonna push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna see these two triggers open and close automatically. There you go. That makes a nice tiny click sound. And that's how you know your RAM is in place. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in, put the screws for the battery. Next, once you're done with this one, you do not need to put the bottom cover on to test it out. You can leave it up open and you can power it on and see if it boots up. If it does boot up, then sure, power it off and put the, turn it down and put the bottom cover right over. But it should work fine. And you can just go ahead and put the bottom cover on top snap it down push it down make sure you hear those nice big click sounds on all around and to finish it off put the long screws on the back and on the mid and the short screws right in front of the laptop again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as i can just a quick tip as soon as you power on if you have upgraded the ram don't panic it might take 5 to 15 seconds for the motherboard to do a mem check, it's called a memory check. So it might take up five to 10 seconds, up to 15 seconds. So don't panic. Just let it there, sit there for at least 15 seconds. And that should cover up today's videos.